welcome this is a uh, prince papi tv it's a pleasure and it's a blessing to be here today so that uh, we can hear from god so that uh, i can share with you the word of god uh, may god bless you from where you are watching me may god bless you for taking this moment it's not for granted that you've been seated on a, in front of your TV, your phone, so you can listen from what I'm talking about. So I pray that may God remember your timing, may God bless you and your family. So before I share with you guys what God has put in my heart, I would like to take this moment and uh, to pray a little bit and then I will have a moment to share with you what God has put in my heart. Let's pray. Father God, we came in, in front of your presence, God. I pray that Holy Spirit, you dwell in this place at this moment. Come, teach us, guide us, show us your way, Lord. I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I believe and I think you're doing all right where you are right now, but uh, if you're not all right, my prayer and my wish is that the power of God may touch you where you are. If you're sick, I pray, I pray that God's healing may reach you where you are. If you're in struggle, I pray that God may be the answers of your struggle. If you're in confusion, I pray that God may guide your mind and God may show you the right way and God may take you where you were supposed to be. So without taking all of your time, I would like to share with you today the word of God in Jeremiah chapter 29 and verses 13. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 13. Beloved, in Jeremiah 29, 13, God would like to remind you and I about one thing. That if we seek God, it's a condition He gave us. If we seek Him with all of our heart desires, he is going to reveal himself to us. And the question is just simple. Here's the first question. Do you seek God? The answer may be yes. Oh yeah, I pray. I read the word of God. I go to church. Yes, I love God. And it's my number one. And the second question would be, do you, you and I, do we seek God with all of our hearts? And you'll be like, what does God want to say about me seeking Him with all my heart? Well, you can seek God without all your heart. That means, for example, you may be someone who goes to church because you love God, you just go there, you listen to the sermon, you worship, you dance, you praise for God, of course, and you go home. Before you sleep, you open your Bible, you read the Word of God in the Bible, you pray, you sleep. That's a regular routine for a Christian who love God. But there is a, a little plus when you seek God with all your heart. And that's what God desires from you and I. To seek Him with all of our heart. All of our heart means like all of with all our mind, attentions, focus, like everything hundred percent. When we seek Him with all our hearts, He's going to reveal Himself to us. Let me give you a simple example. 
for example you're broken like you don't have money and then you're praying God to bless you to open doors so that you, your financial can be stable but you come in front of God or you come in God's presence and you start praying Lord I need you to open doors for me I'm broke I need money but in the harder part of your heart you're thinking like ah oh, maybe if I go ask Peter or if, if I go I ask Mike if I go I ask uh, Pauline she or he will give me this money I think so you see while you're praying one side of your mind is thinking about Pauline about Paul about Mike to be the answers and sometimes you're still praying God to give you <laughs> Do you get me? Exactly. That's what it means when you're not seeking God with all your heart. Do you see? For example, you're applying for a job. God, help me to get this job, Lord. You're the only one. I believe you can do this. Same time in the other side of your heart, like, uh, maybe if I contact Mark, Mark, not the HR, I may get this job. So you're praying God and sometimes your mind is thinking there is maybe a solution if you do this way. So God wants you when you come in front of his presence, forget about Mark, forget about Mike, about Pauline, about all those people. This is just an example of the name I'm giving. Forget about all this idea of maybe I should do this way. He wants you to come 100% believing in him without thinking that there may be a possibility if I contact this and this by believing only into Him with all your heart. Knowing that without God, there is no answer. That means coming in front of God with all your heart, all your resources, your mind, your intelligence, everything you come in front of God when you're seeking Him. I'm pretty sure you understand what I mean. Yes. I would like to really give you a lot of example because sometimes there's a little confusion. People will be like, what do you mean seeking God with all my heart? What's the difference? That's the difference. When you come in front of, in presence of God, you come with all your heart without thinking left and right to be the answer. But you're thinking about it's only God can be the answer about my situation. It's only God can change this. It's only God can do this. When we do that, the word of God in Jeremiah 29 verse 13, God says, when you seek him with all your heart, he's going to reveal himself to you. Revealing himself to you means your prayers will be answered. Means your struggle will have the end. Because when God reveals himself into our life, it's a glorious moment. May God bless you. May God reach you where you are. I don't know what you're going through right now. It may be a financial problem. It may be a disease. It may be a life struggles. It may be a loss of job. It may be a loss of beloved one. It may be, it may be, the list can go longer, it can go on and on. By my brother and sister, one thing I believe and I know for sure. If you put all those things you, you're worrying at this moment in, in, the, in God's hands, there will be a solution, there will be a way, because God, when He revealed to you, you're going to experience again a glorious moment regardless the situation you're going through may god bless you taking thank you for taking these 10 minutes to listen for what god has put in my heart my prayer and my wish is that may god visit you visit myself too so that whenever we seek god we may seek god with all of our hearts not being a religious person by seeking with all our hearts. May God bless you. Thank you for choosing Prince Baby TV again. God bless you. Bye-bye.